Good evening. I'm Edie Lambert. And I'm Golston Dart. Rob and Kelly are off tonight. KCRA 3's Richard Sharp's live for us in Folsom tonight, where a city leader says the next tenant might be better for business. Richard. Yeah, not only were they closed today, the people that normally come here say they were closed yesterday, despite a big New Year's Eve event that was planned. Now, the manager of the restaurant has confirmed, told the best, Sacramento Business Journal, that they are closing for good, and some people we spoke with say that's not necessarily a bad thing. Empty tables and an empty bar at one of the biggest bars in the popular Palladio Shopping Center. Many people thought it was still open. And it helps real nice. The drinks are decent. They, they, you don't pay a lot and you have a good time. Linda Filio was hoping to eat here tonight and was disappointed it was closed. Why are they closing? And what did we ever do to Toby? Toby Keith's Bar and Grill was one of the first big anchors in the Palladio, an upscale shopping center in Folsom that was built during the recession. The restaurant gained a lot of attention when it opened. Keith himself wowed a packed house with a concert. But two years later, the country star's name isn't enough to keep the doors open. I'm sorry that they weren't able to make it, but does it mean that Folsom is running short of dining and, and entertainment options? No. Folsom City Council member Kerry Howell says the bar's exit will not hurt the city or the Palladio. She said the next tenant slated for this location is Nordstrom Rack, which would benefit the city even more in sales tax. That if Nordstrom from Rock comes in here, it will be a gold mine. But why did Toby Keith's Bar and Grill shut down? Teresa Yost came here every Wednesday for line dancing. And the last time you were here, was there any indication that it looked like it was closing? Or No, I just heard it. Yost says unless there was a big concert, the restaurant was never very busy. Yeah, it was never really that packed, and the food I didn't think was all that great. So. Well, the doors are locked. There is no sign on the door indicating that it has been permanently closed. KCRA 3 has also put in calls to the Palladio and the company that runs this bar based out of Arizona. Neither have returned our phone calls. Live in Folsom, I'm Richard Chubb, KCRA 3 News. So what about any upcoming events? There are a lot of bands that use that place as a venue to play. Have those concerts just been canceled? Well, at this point, nobody knows. On their website, they still have a lot of bands scheduled for the month of January. You can look on their calendar. No one knows what's going to happen to those events. Galston? All right, Richard, thanks for 